CBS presents this program in color. Can you identify this famous personality? You've seen her in the movies and as the star of her own television show. You're right if you said she's the star of Lost in Space, June Lockhart. And playing opposite June tonight, the star of Hogan's Heroes, Bob Crane, on The Face is Familiar! Yes, it's The Face is Familiar, brought to you tonight by Parliament, the cigarette made a different way, with the filter that's in, recessed in for flavor, Parliament. Right place, the right time, the right people, the right cigarette parliament. With the filter that's in, recessed in. Parliament is the cigarette made a different way to let you enjoy true, rich tobacco flavor. Flavor you find only in Parliament. The right place, the right time, the right people, the right cigarette parliament. With the filter that's in, recessed in. And now, here's your host on The Faces Familiar, Jack Whitaker. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. And welcome to the show. You're about to see some very unusual and familiar faces tonight. Faces you've seen many, many times on television, in motion pictures, and in your newspapers. But tonight, you're going to see them in a very, very different way. Try to identify these famous faces as you play along with our two celebrity teams. Tonight, Bob Crane and his partner, Claire Pryor, and June Lockhart and her partner, Barton Stone. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> June, we've all enjoyed you so much lost in space, and now we hear you're back to Earth and heading for Miami. What's up? Oh, yes. Uh, we're going down there the um, end of May. Well, no, it's May 21st. I'm going to be the uh, hostess on the Miss USA contest oh, on wonderful. television oh, on this great. network. All the best of luck. You'll Thank be fine. You. And, of course, Bob Crane, I know Hogan's Hero is a smash in our family. What's new with the show? Well, uh, we've been renewed. We're in seventh place in the Nielsen ratings. <laughs> We're all making a little bit of money. And uh, it's just a pleasure to be on a hit show. Thank goodness it's a hit, you know. You bet. It's coming back next year. Huh? And also, it's uh, been nominated for an Emmy. Oh. And so is Bob. Well, Thank wonderful. You. Good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jack, uh... If you don't need me any longer, I'd like to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, we'll vote for you, I'll tell you. All the best of luck on that. Bob, say hello to your playing partner tonight, Claire Pryor from Brooklyn, New York. Hi, How do Claire. you do? You're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Thank in a you. prison camp. <laughs> <laughs> and June Lockhart, your playing partner, Barton Stone from Tampa, Florida. Good Good no, we don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> there it is, folks. You never thought you'd, thought you'd see it on television. It's a friendly <laughs> show. Let's play The Face is Familiar now, if you will. We're going to start by showing you one part of a famous face. Light up the screen, please. All right, panel, now this is one part of seven parts that make up a complete and familiar face. And in order to make it more identifiable as we go along, we'll add additional parts every time that you can complete one of my statements. All right, fingers on the buzzer, get ready. We'll begin with June and Bob. This will be for one additional part now. Ready? Complete this statement. When you pull a muscle in your leg, you get a Charlie. Bob. Horse. Horse for one additional part, Bob. Look closely at the screen now and see if this face becomes familiar as we add one more part. There it is. For $150, Bob Crane, is that face familiar? Yes. It is. Who yes. is it? It's me. <laughs> it's not me. Oh, all right. Well, Bob, I want to tell you something. That is not the face of Bob Crane. All right. But you're close. Your foreheads are similar, I think. We'll go on now, build the picture again. This time we'll go between Claire and Barton. Complete this statement for one additional part. Ready? Shangri-La is described in the book, Lost. Yes, Barton. Horizon. Horizon. Fine. For one more additional part, Barton, if you'll look at our screen, 
As we add this additional part, see if the face becomes familiar. Here it is. All right, Barton, for $150. Is that face familiar? Hmm. Robert Ryan. Robert Ryan. That is the face of somebody else, Barton. <laughs> All right, let's keep building this picture now as we return to June and Bob, and this time it's for two additional parts. When the bartender buys you a drink, it's on the... Mm-hmm, June Locker. <laughs> Funny, I should know that. <laughs> House. The house. Why, of course. I don't think it's so See, funny that you should know it. I have a disadvantage. Two additional parts, June. Watch our screen carefully as we add them now. Here's the first part. And here's the second part. June Lockhart, is that face familiar? Is it Louis Nye? Is it Louis Nye? June Lockhart, it is not Louis Nye. So we have two more parts for the picture. We will play for those two additional parts now between... Claire and Bart. Ready? For the final two parts. Knock down ten pins on the first ball, and you've made a Barton. Strike. Strike. For the final two parts, Barton, watch our screen as we add them. Here's the first part. And here is the final part. Robert oh. Goulet. All right, Barton. Oh. Right. Robert Goulet is absolutely right. Of course. Congratulations, Barton. Junior, you've got a real player here. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Robert Goulet, and you win $150 on that, Barton. And we're now going to give you a chance to win a lot more money. Now, in just a moment, we're going to show you and June our three of a kind. Three pairs of eyes, three noses, and three lips. And for each correct identification, you'll win $50. And if you correctly identify all three, we'll double all of your money, which means you can win $500. All ready? We'll begin with you now, June, and tell you that we're looking for the eyes of Gina Lola Brigida. The eyes of Gina Lola Brigida. Watch the screen carefully here, the first pair of eyes, and the second, and the third. All right, June, for $50, which were the eyes of Gina Lola Brigida? The first. You say number one were the eyes of Gina Lola Brigida. May we have <coughs> those eyes in their proper position on the screen, please? Those eyes are the eyes of Gina Lola Brigida. <laughs> Very well done, June. And Barton, you're well on your way to doubling your money now. Fifty more dollars, you're still alive. We're looking, Barton, for the lips of Joseph Cotton. The lips of Joseph Cotton. Watch the screen carefully here, the first pair of lips. And the second. And the third. All right, Barton. Which lips were the lips of Joseph Cotton? Two. Number two, you say, were the lips of Joseph Cotton. May we have those lips in their proper place on the screen? Let's find out who they belong to. Those are the lips of John Lindsay. <laughs> All right, Barton. You still have a chance to win 50 more dollars, though. We'll return now to June and tell you that we are looking for the nose of June Lockhart. I beg your pardon? We're looking <laughs> for the nose of June Lockhart. And I'm to guess? You're to guess own your nose? own nose. <laughs> <laughs> Watch our screen very carefully now. Right. The nose of June Lockhart. Here is nose number one. Number two. Number three. June Lockhart, which one of those noses is yours? <laughs> One. You say the second nose belongs to you? I think so. May we have that nose in its proper position on the screen? June Lockhart, that is the nose of June Lockhart. Oh, yeah. It takes a smart person to know their own nose, June, I want to tell you. <laughs> Very nicely done. Barton, that means you have won with June Lockhart $250. And for you, Claire, we have a little prize of $50 for you, and our thanks to both of you for being on The Face is Familiar. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back with another familiar face after this word from our sponsor. Come on, honey, let's go. The movie's only half over. My stomach feels awful. Look. Abysmal tablets? Brand new. 
But do they work like that? Yes, like Pepto-Bismol liquid. Chew them and see. Tastes good. Pepto-Bismol tablets give you the same coating action as Pepto-Bismol liquid. Look, a leading alkalizer in water is directed, an antacid tablet dissolved in water, and Pepto-Bismol liquid. Watch. No coating action here, none here. But look at Pepto-Bismol liquid's protective coating action. The same coating action you get with Pepto-Bismol tablets to help stop distress of indigestion, nausea, restore control to lower tract. That was a great movie. Quick as a wink, you're in the pink with new Pepto-Bismol tablets and Pepto-Bismol liquid. Another familiar face and two new contestants. Bob Crane, say hello, if you will, to Ann Benson from Dallas, Texas. Who does the casting? Uh, here we go. Show. Uh, <coughs> Hi. And we should have told you. What are you doing in Dallas, Ann? Well, now I live in New York. I'm now you live in New York. Here. Oh, well, fine. Delighted to have you in this city. Thank you very much. Sir. All right, June Lockhart, would you say hello to David Harbour of Cleveland, Ohio? Did my husband get back? Yeah. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> We'd like you to know, David, that this is a brand new wrinkle on the show that began just tonight here, and you're the... I think it's a great idea. I, I like thought you would. I would, too. All right, let's play. The face is familiar now. To start the game, we'll again show you one part of a familiar face. Light up the screen, please. That is one part of seven that make up the complete face. We'll make it easier for you as we go along by adding parts each time you correctly complete one of my statements. We'll play this first one between June and Bob. Ready with the buzzers? We are. For one additional part. If she's lost in space, her name is June. <laughs> <coughs> Don't tell me I beat you. Did he? He beat you, Bob. All right. June Lockhart. Wonderful. <laughs> All right. You have won one additional part. Well, Watch the screen. <laughs> Let's see if this face becomes familiar as we add this part. Bob Crane for $150. Is that face familiar? Yeah, it ain't Doris Day, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Time is up. So we'll go right along now for one more additional part. This time we'll play between Ann and David. Ready? The last time he ran for public office, Richard Nixon ran for the office of... President. President, no. Governor of California. So you have forfeited that, David, and it goes over to Ann Benson. You get an extra part. Watch the screen now as we reveal this next part. Here it comes. For $150, Ann Benson, is that face familiar? Want to take a guess? Hi. All right, time is up. Okay, well, we'll just have to keep building this picture as we go on. Back to you, June and Bob, this time for two additional parts. Hands on the buzzer. The slang term for a pawnbroker's is a... June. Hawk shop. Yes, a hawk shop. Two additional parts on that, June. Watch the screen as we add them. Here's the first, and here's the second. Now, June Lockhart, is that face familiar? Hmm? Is it John Lindsay? You're asking me yes. if that picture is John Lindsay. And I will Could answer you by saying, June Lockhart, that is not John Lindsay. Yes. All right, we have two more parts to fill it out, and we'll play for those two now between Ann and David. These are the final two parts of the picture. Ready? Mm -hmm. If you photograph well, you are... Yes, Ann. Photogenic. Photogenic indeed, just like you. We've got the final two now. Watch the screen as we add them. Here's the first, and here is the oh. final part. <laughs> All right, with all seven parts revealed. Um, is that face familiar, Ann? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, oh, there's time, sorry. Time ran out on you. And now, panel, since we have revealed all seven parts of this familiar face and you have been unable to guess the identity, we're going to give you a chance to straighten that face out. And we're going to do that by letting you switch two parts of the picture, one with the other. And now we'll start with June and Bob. We'll play completing of this statement for a switch. Are you ready? Hands on the buzzer. June and Bob. I don't follow this. I'm sorry. Uh, Just well, put you your hand on the buzzer. Right, if you win on the buzzer, I will tell you what to do. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, I got it. All right. Just trust me. Down here on Earth, we, we're a little different than the people you're used to. <laughs> we'll take care. We do it all with buttons up there, too. I know. <laughs> here we go. In the days of Nero, a commuter went to work by Bob Crane. Uh, but <laughs> 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 Wait a minute, 
Phelps, I'm going to tell you. Uh, he went to work uh, by way of mule. Jacob, sorry, there's the bell on that. By mule. Well, you must have known some pretty bad Romans. Chariot was what we wanted. However, time ran out. We'll play for a switch now. I know who it is. Between, <laughs> between uh, Dave and Ann now for a switch. Are you ready? A person on a diet is a weight. Yes, Ann. Uh, not a lifter. <laughs> no, a weight lifter, a weight what? Watcher. Weight watcher. All right, you've won a switch. Ann, look at our screen now and tell me what single part of that picture you want to switch. Um. Four and five. You want now just the one part. Now you want to pick. Uh, I want to put five or four. You want well. You can only take one, dear. Four. But I have to switch it. Yes, but Bob will have to pick the oh, next. Oh, one. I'm sorry. You're a team, four. remember? <laughs> All right. You're going to uh, pick uh, number four. Bob Crane, your partner, has picked number four. I'll with, pick number one. With one. All right. One with four. Let's see what happens to our familiar face when we switch number one with number four. <laughs> Handsome devil, isn't he? <laughs> Whoever he is, he still needs a barber, doesn't he? <laughs> Somebody tuning in late would say, what the heck is that? <laughs> Annie Benson, do you know now for $150 who this face is? Kirk Douglas. Kirk oh, Douglas, yeah. right. Yeah. And you thought it was going to be hard. There, both of you, even if you did ride a mule there, Bob. <laughs> but you've won now $150, Ann Benson, and we're going to give you a chance to win a lot more. We're going to show you and Bob our three of a kind now. Three eyes, three noses, and three lips. $50 for each correct identification. If you get all three right, double all of your money. $500, Ann. Okay? All right, Bob Crane, we're going to start with you. Oh, you're lucky. We're looking for the eyes of Debbie Reynolds. The eyes of Debbie Reynolds, will you watch the screen carefully now? Here come the first pair of eyes. And the second, and the third. All right, Bob Crane, the chance to double your partner's money. Which eyes were the eyes of Debbie Reynolds? Three. Number three, Mr. Crane says. All right, can we put those eyes in their proper position on the screen, please? Those are the eyes of Debbie Reynolds. You were very good, Bob Crane. Thank you very, very much. Very good. All right. It's nothing at all. <laughs> You're still alive to double your money, Ann Benson. This time it's your turn. We're looking for the lips of James Garner. The lips of James Garner. Watch the screen. Here's the first pair of lips. And the second and the third. All right. Which lips were the lips of James Garner, Ann Benson? The second. You say number two or the lips of James Garner? May we put those lips in their proper position, please? Let's find out, Ann. Those are the lips of James Snyder. <laughs> and you're doing well. It's up to Bob Crane to see if you can double all your money now for $500. Bob, we're looking for the nose of Dinah Shore. The nose of Dinah Shore, watch our screen carefully now. This is for $500. Here's nose number one. Number two. Number three. Bob Crane, which nose is the nose of Dinah Shore? I would say number one. You would say number one? Well, I think You say number one is the nose of Dinah Shore. Let's put that nose in its right place, boys, please. That nose, Bob Crane, is the nose of... Dinah Shore! Dinah Shore! <laughs> Pretty good. Got off to a slow start <laughs> and went downhill from there. You were very good, Bob, and so were you, Ann. You have doubled all your money for $500, and you've played with a fellow that's been cooped up so long, and I think you were lucky to get him tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ann. Thank you very much, Ann. For you, David, we have a consolation prize of $50. Thank Our you. thanks to both you and Ann for being on The Face is Familiar. <laughs> We'll be back with another familiar face right after this word from our sponsor. Clark's Tea Berry Gum presents the Tea Berry Shuffle. Have a 
little fun. Try Clark's Teaberry Gum. It's a matter of taste. Me? I love an injector razor. You love it? Well, well I like it very much. Okay? Yeah. Especially since Persano brought out this stainless injector blade. Uh, That's smooth. You prefer Persano to stainless injector? Oh, yeah. Everything I've heard about Persano double edge seems true of these two. How oh, you do love your injector razor? Well, with Persano blades, I do. We're back with another familiar face and two new contestants. Bob Crane, say hello to Late Bowden of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hello. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's the best part of the show, folks. <laughs> you really have been locked up a long time. Oh, right? heck. Why don't we just do that all night? <laughs> <laughs> and June Lockhart meets your new partner from Cornish, Maine, Jan Wells. Hello. How are you, Jan? <laughs> <laughs> See, nothing original. <laughs> well, we're off to a nice, friendly start again, huh? Yes. All right, let's get mean now. You're playing against each other as we go for a familiar face. To start it out, we're going to show you one part of a familiar face. Light up the screen, please. <laughs> All right, panel. Now, this, as you know, is one part of seven that make up the complete familiar face. We'll add to it as we go along each time that you correctly complete one of my statements. And we'll begin again for one additional part with June and Bob. Ready? You're right. All right. Francis Gum was the real name of Judy June. Garland. Garland, right. For another one additional part. Go back that part. June? <laughs> no. <laughs> I could have said no. Watch our screen carefully now as we add this additional part. Here it is. All right, June. Oh. Is that face familiar for $150? Doris Day. You say that that is the face of Doris Day? I think it might be. June Lockhart, that is the face of Doris Day. <laughs> And once again, Jan Wells, just by sitting there, you have won $150. Now, isn't that a nice game? Yes. Hmm? And we're going to give you a chance to win more money right now. Because we're going to show you and June our three of a kind. Three pairs of eyes, three noses, three lips. For each correct identification, you'll win another $50. And if you correctly identify all three, we'll double all of your money, which means $500. All right, June Lockhart, we'll start with you. We're looking for the lips of Olivia de Havilland. The lips of Olivia de Havilland. Watch the screen closely. So was Errol Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Here come the first pair of lips. And the second. And the third. All right, June Lockhart. Which lips were the lips of Olivia de Havilland? One, I'll say the second. Two. You'll say number two were the lips of Olivia de Havilland. All right, let's put those lips in their proper position on the screen, please. Those lips are the lips of Claudette Colbert. <laughs> All right, number one were the lips of Olivia de Havilland, June. That was a tough one. All right, $50 more, though, Jan, as we go to you now. We're looking for the nose of Nikita Khrushchev. <laughs> the nose of Nikita Khrushchev. Watch the screen now. Here is nose number one. Number two. Number three. All right, for $50 more, dollars, Jan Wells. Which is the nose of Nikita Khrushchev? Number two. You say number two is the nose of Nikita Khrushchev. Can we put that nose in its proper position, please? Let's find out whose nose that is. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that nose is the nose of Nikita Khrushchev. Your $200, Jan, and you have a chance for 50 more as we return to you, June. We're looking for the eyes of Sophia Loren. The eyes of Sophia Loren. Watch the screen closely. Here come the first pair. Here are the second pair and the third pair of eyes. For 50 more dollars, June Lockhart. Two. You say number two, the eyes of Sophia Loren. All right, let's put those eyes in their proper position, please. And let's find out. Those eyes are the eyes of Sophia yeah. Loren. <laughs> Very well played, June Lockhart and Jan Wells. You have won $250. And for you late, we have a consolation prize of $50. And a nice kiss. Thank yes, you. and a nice kiss. <laughs> it wasn't in vain, was it? Huh? Uh, I bet you thought my teams were going to be lousy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to thank both you and Jan for being here. Thank you for playing the faces for me. 
All right, we'll be back in just a moment now to tell you about next week's guest. But first, this word from our sponsor. to where the flavor is. Come to Marlboro Country. Well, if you would like to attend our broadcast and apply to be contestants, write for tickets to the Face is Familiar Tickets. CBS TV, 51 West 52nd Street, New York, New York, 10019 with the zip code. Those are our familiar faces for tonight. And June Lockhart, thank you very much. We're so glad we caught you between trips. Oh, thank you. It's always a pleasure to be caught between trips. And you, of course, with a pretty nose like yours, no wonder you can identify it right away. That was pretty good. Oh, yes, thank you. But it's pretty embarrassing to miss one's own nose, I guess, so. Well, I don't know. They're the, we find some of the most difficult things to identify our noses. Bob, you did quite well. Yes, I, uh, it was kind of funny. And my partner, who won all the money, being a new resident of New York City, said this is better than the welcome wagon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you were on hand here to welcome her. I don't think she'll ever forget that. How's the rest of the gang on Hogan's Heroes? Oh, everybody's just fine. Werner Klemper, I must say, too. The commandant on Hogan's Heroes is up for an Emmy Award, too. I just want to... Well, we you. wish him all the luck in the world, too, and all of your cast, June, on Lost in Space. Thank you Thank both you so much. very much for being here. All right, next week our guest stars will be... This lovely star whom you've seen many times on television and on Broadway. Playing against this popular and talented motion picture star. Did you recognize them? Do you think you know who they are? Well, why don't you check out your answers next week? They'll both be here on The Face is Familiar. This is Jack Whitaker. Good night, everybody. The Face is Familiar was brought to you by Marlboro Filter Cigarettes. You're where the flavor is when you're in Marlboro country. This has been a Bob Stewart Enterprises production. this pre-recorded program were selected and interviewed in advance. This is Jack Clark speaking. How do accidents happen? For every careful driver, there's one who isn't. You just can't trust the other guy, but you can watch out for him. Defend yourself against his mistakes. It takes more than just being in the right. Nearly half the drivers in fatal accidents are in the right. This one was right. Dead right. Stay tuned as Matt Dillon and Festus become targets for revenge when the sons of an ex-lawman look for trouble and find it. In Gunsmoke, next on...